Where's that mower deck? Left it right here. Um, there it is. Bring that in the shop. Can't really see much. Use proper lifting techniques. Probably should have used the tractor. Oh. Okay, we're back with the uh, mower deck for the $50 Craftsman all-wheel steer. I'd like to get this looked at, see what kind of parts I need. So, this belt off, which actually, the belt looks... Belt looks good. One thing I don't know is if it's the uh, OEM belt. That's a 5.8, so I'll have to check check into that. Idler pulley's good. Um, the engagement rod looks like a piece of uh, all thread. So, it looks like someone just kind of fixed it themselves. Hopefully that's going to work. Can't see why it wouldn't. A little bit of play in that idler arm. Quite a bit, actually. It's done a lot of work. If that hour meter is right, man, the key could have got left on a few times. So... 1500 hours. It's probably guaranteed it's got a thousand hours of uh, run time. All right, where do I start? Um, everything's in pretty bad shape here. Hmm. So let me think about this. Well, that spindle there is seized up. I might just pop these pulleys off and uh, that side there turns well. Uh, has a bit of play in it. Um, I'm just going to pop. Well, this one's seized up for sure. Let's start here. Oh, it's not three quarter. It's probably eleven sixteenths. Yep, eleven sixteenths. All right. Got some extra washers here. Yeah, that pulley is egged out, egg shaped. this is supposed to look like and grab that manual got my manual here I did find out it's a 1989 All right. so I'm gonna go to the mower deck I'm hoping they have a kind of a breakdown of the spindle tower Yeah, they kind of do. Um, so not a washer, a washer underneath. Bearings. Yeah, I got some extra washers on that side. And a spacer that doesn't isn't listed. Okay. What's the part number? Number twenty four is the spindle assembly. Three nine four one three seven. Oh, wrong page. That's right. Five six four two four is a quill assembly. Hmm. No, it's 
pull this apart. See what exactly is going on with it. Just uh, throw my parts over here. It's greasy stuff. Okay. The shaft itself is all fine. Now all those blades are trash. Hmm. They're the part of the blade that does the lifting. Well, it's these blades are no good. Hmm. Oh, there's just no there's no bearing in the bottom. They just didn't put it back in. Uh, how do I show that? Um, we just we got the upper bearing, and there's no lower bearing. Never seen that before. That's a first for me. That it was being used with no bearing in the bottom end. All right, so we got like one. <laughs> I mean, this, this is all busted. I don't know what point this. Um, I would say we can't save that. Well, that's important too. It actually it's a guard and it also keeps the belt from falling off on this side. The other side's got a little brake pad, which would keep the belt on when you disengage the blades. And this side needs that cover to keep the belt on there when you're disengaging the blades. Or this thing just spins and kicks the belt off. I would have had some parts, but I I threw most of these mower decks out that I had. I, I did have a few. Didn't think I'd ever need them again. I'm just going to pop this nut off because I've got a little bit of play in this one. Well, that's just hitting the block underneath. All right, so that is a uh, 9 16ths. Safety first. Oh, gotta hold from underneath. Well, not great. A little bit of the housing where the bearing sits. There's a little side to side play, but, um, No, I, I think I'm just going to throw this side back together. I think this side's fine. Maybe that nut just loosened off a little bit. Well, that's better. It might have just loosened up. Might have hit, hit something. Um, for what it is, I think I'm just going to leave this one. It's pretty unsafe, this mower deck. I don't like how the brake's gone. and I don't know if I'll be able to fix that. So, um, I probably, depends what I do with this machine. It won't be getting sold with the mower deck. I, I just wouldn't feel comfortable, obviously. It's. Yeah, but I'm going to see if it'll cut grass still. Um, missing a bearing. 
But I could just cobble it together too. Go find a bearing. The only problem is that pulley right there. There's like, there's nothing left. Bit of digging around. Uh, that spindle on that side. Like someone just threw a roller bearing, like a, I don't know what it is. It's in this side over here. Just trying to get the bearings figured out. I'm just going to pop this one out with a punch on. I don't know. It's like a tapered roller bearing. Somebody's just thrown in there. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to move. Hmm. It's in there. The shaft does fit through it. I found another bearing here on my shelf, 6203RS. And it does kind of fit. Not great. I don't know if that shaft looks chewed up. Nah, it might be. Get rid of those burrs. Probably from where that pulley was hitting the shaft. Mm, it still doesn't quite fit on there. It's pretty banged up. I'm just going to go clean it up on the, in the vise. Uh, there's some vice, old vice marks uh, right there. That was well, most of my trouble trying to get this uh, bearing on. Uh, where would my emery paper go here? Okay. Bearing goes right on now. So having a lower bearing, that should work a lot better. I can only imagine what this thing sounded like without uh, the lower spindle bearing. It's not like it just disintegrated. There's nothing. There's none of it. There was no. Evidence it was even in there. All right. So. All right. Get this belt out of the way. Uh, that over there. Hmm. All right. Okay. Bearing does not fit into its recess yet. I don't know why, but. Feels like there's a bit of an edge there. All right. Just kind of an edge.
Oh, that's better. Let's get, yeah, there we go. It's fitting in there now. Might just clean that up with Yeah, all kinds of dirt's falling into other bearing, but eh. that's better. That. <laughs> this is not how I would fix something normally. Usually, just two new bearings and clean all that out. No. Try and pop that other bearing out again. Got it. See what we got going on here. Yeah, just some bearing. Someone popped the um, the seals out of and just threw grease on it and just decided not to put the bottom bearing back in. I don't understand. Not really sure. This is interesting. Interesting to see some other people's repairs. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? Well, I do have another one of these. I don't know how many people still have these mowers, but there's the part number that fits the upper and lower for uh, these older Noma Murray Craftsman's. That's an MTD part. Two of them in stock. Just perfect amount. All right this spacer on which i don't think is correct i don't think that's the proper part so i just have a feeling that's not the right center spacer oh <sighs> How do I want to go about this? Um, another bearing gonna stay in place on the other side. I don't think so. Just gonna tap it in place. I got that top bearing in. Hmm. Well, seems to be the right height. Um, like a spacer there that's probably not supposed to be there. Yeah, this is not going to work very well. Not no. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not even gonna sit right. Wish I had one. Oh, that was close. I'm okay. Just my block of wood slipped. Not the block of wood, but the broken part on the mower deck. Uh, you know what? I've got some bigger decks outside. Murray decks. With these similar spindles. It's pouring rain right now. I can't use that. That's a bad idea. And I may have a pulley out there that has that... Um, fits this size. Actually, I might go out right now. It's just a bit of water. It's not going to hurt nothing. Yeah, throw that block of wood right under the spindle. It's the worst that would happen. I'll get a bit wet. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, I went and looked outside. I don't have any more Murray decks for the spindle pulley. I don't feel right putting this on. Sure, I could. I could throw some washers on that, and I could probably tighten that down, but I don't want to... I, I don't think that's proper. It's kind of it, not safe, especially dealing with the mower blade and whatnot. But not a good idea. So I think I'm throwing the towel in on trying to get this thing to cut. I could make it cut, but I don't think it's worth the time. You can buy new spindles. It's like $80 for an aftermarket. It runs and it drives, and that's probably all it's ever going to do again. Unless a debt comes in, which... Then you got that other problem with the pulley and... Blades. Most of the parts are no longer available, so... Pretty cool. It runs, it drives, it's all-wheel steer. Somebody will probably want that rear axle for a mud mower build or something like that. But uh, the mower, as as for cutting grass, it's just not going to happen. This thing's, what, uh, 1989. Yeah, I think it lived its life. It's, uh, I think that's it for cutting grass with it. I just don't feel right about that. That's just not going to happen. So I'm going to pull my bearings back out of that. There's nothing wrong with them. Maybe I'll keep that idler pulley. Uh, keep that pulley in case I ever get another one of these mower decks. And uh, I might just throw the, throw the mower deck in the scrap bin. Just... But we got a running tractor. So uh, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. It's too bad it won't cut grass again. All right, change of plans. I rummaged out back, wasted more time than I probably should have, and found a pulley. I don't know how I was a miracle. So I got to weld, weld that tomorrow down. I'm not a certified welder, just so everyone knows, but I can. I'll get by. We're good here. That pulley cover, I may have to plastic weld it. I'm not a pro at that either, but we've got some plastic left. We'll get that pulley attached again. It's over there somewhere. You want to grab it, assistant? Thank you. So we'll get that back on. We'll just plastic weld it. Uh, was it soldering iron and uh, zip ties and baking soda? A friend of mine told me this trick. I'm going to try it out. So we'll do that, and uh, we won't look at the blades again, but consider them safe. <laughs> and um, 
I'll just go cut a strip out back and uh, I think it'll cut grass again. Okay, we got that mower deck for the 40 inch, the 40 inch mower deck for the all wheel steer craftsman. Just gotta weld this piece here down. And there's a crack on this side also that I see now. Uh, it was bolted down, but the, um, it's all broken where the uh, bolt goes. So I'm just going to grind that out, clean up the paint off them quickly. This is not a welding tutorial video, so you can um, roast my welds. No problem. doesn't matter. Just some quick and quick and dirty welds there. I just use flux core. Seems to work for me for this kind of stuff. They're not great, but I'm sure they will hold. I'm just gonna throw some black paint on those. Like I said, I, I'm not a welding instructor, so there's probably better ways to do this. This was just kind of quick and dirty. So this mower deck, it, who knows? The tractor could, uh, may not even last. Just took a look. I got all the deck hardware too, which is incredible. Considering the receipt for that key switch was 2014, this thing's been uh, sitting probably almost um, 10 years almost. All right, I'm gonna get that mower deck in here up. See if I can get it together and get it working. I think everything's there. That makes sense. That goes under the belt. So this is not a model I'm very familiar with. I don't see these very often. Okay, where do we start? Um, probably hook that front deck link up first. going on here. There we go. Okay, it won't go through. Hmm. It still won't go through. Oh, it's full of grit. That's oh, <laughs> might have to just go up a bit. That's it.
Oh, it's just full of uh, dead grass. There. I think there's a mouse nest in the front axle. Makes no sense. And the little there's a spot in the front axle that the pin goes through. And the axle's cast, like or not cast, pressed, and the bottom is just full of stuff. There, I'm just just it must be just full of debris. I can't it just keeps falling down. Okay, I'm gonna have to just clean this out. We'll probably take a bit. Alright. I got that pin finally through. This is there's still more up in there. They get up in through and just built a nest inside the front axle. I've seen this before. Okay. Get the rest of these deck links hooked up. Don't even actually know if this is the right belt. Um, we'll see. I think it's too tight to be the right belt. We'll get it on this pulley first. Yeah, no way is that the right belt. It should be disengaged. And all right, I'm on all the pulleys the right way. And it's going to be on that engine pulley. When I start this, the deck's going to. So I got to go find the right belt. This this won't work. All right. So I looked the, the part number up. It come up as five stens said on their site with the OEM part number that it was a 5 8 by 83. So that black one's came come off it and that blue one's an 83. And you can see that black one's too short. Get rid of that. And my assistant can hold the part number up. That is the belt part number. Well, belt size. All right. Well, it fits. It seems a bit loose, but the manual PTO is not. Oh, yeah. You got that? I can, you want me to light it up? Well, that's, that looks better. So it disengages and on. And then I just got to hook up the um, PTO rod, this piece of homemade PTO rod here, to the lever. Pulls it back. So my plastic cover, it, it's pretty bad. I'm not going to bother with plastic welding, but I have another trick I use for if you don't have the pulley, which it's no longer available. we got three, three holes remaining here, so actually I can make a belt just a small rod to keep that belt on i'll we'll go over that in a bit okay i've got that plastic pulley belt it's a belt keeper also but i got this i think it was off a um, craftsman it's a belt keeper of some sort so i'm gonna attach it i'm gonna straighten this out and i'm gonna cut it to level and then I'm just going to bolt it in place here and that'll keep this belt from jumping off on this side. This this is no longer available and I it's going to I'm going to going to get kind of busy here and I, I probably won't have time to try and weld this today. Plastic weld it, whatever you call it, but that's what you'd have to do. Okay, I got that belt keeper made up. Just cut a bit off of that side. They cut it to the right height. 
That should work just perfect. It'll keep the belt on when I disengage the blades. I mean, in theory. Okay. So, bolt up through. Need a big washer. I probably could use a lock nut, but lock washer, lock nut would be a good idea too, but this together here. That's tightened on. I'll just kind of move that toward the pulley. Let me just tighten it up one more time here. Yeah, that'll hold the belt on on that side for now. So it runs, it cuts, the blades don't stop, very unsafe. Uh, it doesn't like the heavy grass, it bogs right down. So I'm going to say it's not probably going to last the summer for cutting grass. where it deserves to be. <laughs> I'll just leave that there. 